What's up guys, welcome back to the FNG Academy. Buck here from Green Beret, here to help you guys get selected. <laughs> Just ran up the stairs. <laughs> Woo. Doesn't matter how much I run, stairs get me. I need a Jacob's Ladder, I think. I run every day, stairs get me. Run up the stairs, can't damn breathe. All right, guys, welcome to this video. This is going to be called Ruck 2.0. We're going to give you some tips on rucking, some things that uh, I made mistakes on, things that I wish I knew, um, and to help your rucking experience, your training and your rucking be as smooth um, as possible and avoid injuries. So we have some products uh, here today that we're selling on the website, and I want to run you through um, some more rucking tips to help you guys out on your rucking journey. I promise you these are going to be good tips. Um, and I have good product suggestions to go with them. But first, this video is sponsored by 18 Alpha Fitness. I'm proud to announce that 18 Alpha Fitness and myself are partnering up. So we are gonna start working together um, to really bring 18 Alpha Fitness to as many of you guys as possible because it's such a great program and Kevin does such a good job. So we're partnering with 18 Alpha Fitness. So make sure you go sign up uh, and check out the app, download the app once you sign up and he will run you through all the workouts. So the coolest thing that he does is focusing on breathing, which is something that is extremely overlooked and will exponentially help your chances of getting selected. All right, guys. So in this video, I want to talk about some rucking tips. Um, we sell some products that are going to help you with rucking. That's why we carry those products is because of the things that we use. But these are little tweaks that you can make to your rucking game. They're going to help you exponentially. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to start with is chafing. So we carry this product right here on the fngacademy.com. It's called squirrels nut butter. So the whole idea is that you use an anti-chafing cream between your legs. As you sweat and as you ruck, your legs are going to start, that friction is going to start melting your fucking skin down. And when you get um, chafing between your legs, the burning sensation is so painful and so bad that it really just takes you out of the game and it messes up your focus and it messes up your ability to keep moving forward. Because all you can think about is how much pain you have going on between your legs. Um, and it just, once you start with chafing, this is the shitty part is if you get it and then you go on a field problem, it's not going to go away once it starts, if you keep rocking. So you're just going to have it get worse and worse and worse. So chafing is one of those things that you really want to avoid on your rucking journey. And the best way to do that is to always apply something between your legs. It doesn't have to be the one we sell. This is just the one we sell, but get an anti chafing stick. And part of your um, pre-step out routine, which is going to include your foot care, which we also have the foot care kit. Which, which we also sell the foot care kit uh, as well. So the foot care kit, your part of your pre-routine is going to be to cut out your uh, mole skin. It comes with the scissors. It comes with the mole skin. Apply those to your hot spots on your feet. That's going to be step one. Step two, before stepping out, before you have the injuries, take the uh, your anti-chafing cream, whichever one you guys decide to use, and smear it all over the inside of your thighs. Uh, be liberal about it. Let it get all over the place because trust me, you do not want to have chafing. It sucks. Um, okay, so the next thing that I want to show you guys that I think you should be using is your feet. There used to be this old, when I was going through this old adage that like, you need your tough feet. You needed hard, rock solid feet. So you should put your feet in gasoline, make them tough. Like no shit, people were dipping their feet in gas to try and toughen up their feet for long rucks. Um, obviously your skin is an organ, right? So like the last thing you need to be doing is dipping it in gas and drying it out um, and making it crack more because it's going to make it worse. And the more cracks you get, the more pain. Um, and then those cracks start to open as you put more pressure on your feet. So in actuality, the opposite is true. You want your feet to be nice and supple and soft. So we got this stuff called happy toes. I use this stuff every single day. Um, I love it, especially, I don't know what it is, but I get calluses on my feet like mad. So I gotta, I gotta take care of my feet. And the problem was those calluses, once they start 
growing on your toes or your the pads of your foot, they start pressing into your feet um, and then you start getting foot injuries from the calluses not being maintained. So make sure you're always filing those calluses off your feet and then applying something like happy toes. Uh, put this on liber liberally all over your feet and then put your socks on. Your goal before you ruck is to always keep your feet nice and soft so that skin is malleable um, and it deals with the constant abuse that you're going to put on them from rucking long distances. So make sure you're taking care of your feet, guys. And part of that, again, is getting all those uh, big calluses sanded off and filed off and, and maintaining your toenails, um, our toe care kit. Our foot kit comes with toenail clippers and all that stuff. Applying this stuff regularly, put some socks on. After you apply it heavily for, you know, and leave some socks on for a couple hours, your feet will get nice and soft. Then before you step off, apply your, um, your mole skin to where the spots that you know you get hot spots, and then your anti-chafing cream. You're miles ahead of the game at this point. I promise you guys, if you just do those things, your rucking game is going to be exponentially better when everyone else or a lot of other people that didn't take these steps are dealing with chafing and their skin hurts and then they got blisters that are popping in their heels you're going to avoid all that your head's going to stay in the game your your mind is going to be like okay my shoulders hurt and i'm going to adjust my ruck all right now my hips hurt i'm going to go back to my shoulders you're not going to be thinking fuck i got a big blister it is killing me i got chafing i'm in pain right you just want to have that ache because that's normal from shoulders to hips. Um, I'll do another video on how to adjust your ruck further, which we did one already. So check that video out if you haven't. Um, and it'll talk about, you know, how you're using your ruck uh, to go back and forth and apply it in different points in your body. So shoulders to hips. All right. And then the last thing that we highly recommend, again, we carry it. Uh, for rucking is when you're rucking, you need to stay hydrated. It's so important, but you have a ruck on your back. You don't want to be carrying water bottles because you're going to be carrying your rifle um, and you always want to have your hands on your rifle at all times. So what do you need to do? You need canteen straws. So we got them on the store site um, and they're canteen straws. So you have your two quart canteens. Let me open this up for you. One of the things I talked about on your rucksack is that, that you get canteen um, pouches sewn onto the outside. So that way your canteens, your two quarts are always on the outside of your ruck. And then you take these straws and you run them from your canteen up your ruck and then out by your mouth. So that way you have two straws all times right by your mouth and then you have them zip tied or taped uh, to the shoulder of your ruck. So anytime you need water, just reach over and then you have your straw right there uh, for you to get water from. It has a clip on it, uh, so you don't have to tape it. You could use this clip, just pops open and then slide it wherever you need. Uh, but these things are awesome. So everyone's gonna have two quart canteens. Make sure you get those canteens attached to the outside of your ruck and then make sure you have two canteen straws. These things are a lifesaver. And again, I've talked about that before with the canteens. I like to have one with all water and then one that I mix with hydration fluids so I can get more salts and stuff in. Uh, but always wash out the one that you put the hydration fluid in and stuff. The sugars um, from those mixes will get all over the edge and they'll start to mold. It gets disgusting. So anytime you put anything in your two quart, make sure you wash it out really well uh, with water. So while you're out in the field, I'm, I'm not just saying when you get home. But all right, guys, just want to do a quick video on some products that you should be using. We do carry them on the FNGAcademy.com. We don't, I'm not selling them because we carry them. I'm carrying them because we use them and they work. Uh, so the purpose of the, us having these on the site is because these are the things that we use that help us become more successful um, in selection and in the Q course and as uh, operating overseas. So make sure you use these things especially for selection. I promise you, you will not be disappointed. All right, guys, I hope that video helps. Get out there and go rock. What's up, guys? Buck here, co-host of the FNG podcast and author of Rise Above, uh, former Green Beret, 
former law enforcement, here to talk to you about five tips. Nothing has helped me more in my process of healing than helping other people doing the YouTube channel, figuring out ways to help people in the best and biggest way I can. What's up guys? Back, back, buck back. What's up guys? Welcome back to FNG Academy. So welcome back to FNG Academy. The FNG Academy. Welcome back to FNG Academy. Buck here from Green Break. Could help you guys get selected. There's a lot of stress that comes with trying to go this route. You know, there's a lot of fear, there's a lot of anxiety. Yeah. So now that how can we use content to to let them let them laugh let them see that we're normal ass people if we can do it they can do it well hello everybody welcome to this painting with buck ross right here to help you guys no not today gear review oh yeah <laughs> wait till you read the book the book goes into things that were really difficult to talk about. It goes into my failures. It goes into my failures as a Green Beret. It goes into my failures as a man, as a husband. The things that we went through growing up, getting shot at as a kid, things like that, like, it's deep. If you guys have wondered how I've managed to get from basically, you know, a police officer, no one knows who I am, to where I'm at now, um, Obviously a huge part of that is I put together an amazing team. Two Green Berets and an amazing videographer, all of whom I've known for years. They're, some, they're my best friends. I've worked my ass off. I've spent probably about $5,000 in plane tickets uh, over the last year. Um, we started Wine and Rations with Andy Stump. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to this episode of Wine and Rations. Welcome to this episode of Wine and Rations. Recently, I was reached out to by a dude named Bedros Kulian. I reached out to this guy and I was like, hey man, could you be like a surrogate dad, older brother uh, figure for this guy? And he said, yes. you guys step off to go to basic to go to selection to start your journey I highly encourage you to do this one thing and this is my last bit of advice to you before you guys leave and you can't watch the FNG Academy for a while and you have to keep you know my voice ringing in your head help other people 